really excited about this class. Um, it is our second class, if you will, being at full strength. So thank you, boss lady. Appreciate it. Um, but our second class being at full strength, we have 25 signees. Um, and I got to take notes because a lot of them. You know, we got two of them already on campus. And, and we'll talk about those guys first because they're not on your cheat sheet, if you will. Um, we got three walk-ons that are coming already to told us. We got from six states and two countries, okay, in this recruiting class. 13 from Colorado, uh, five from California, four from Illinois, three from Texas, one from Oregon, one from Louisiana, and one from Canada. Um, so my staff, these guys have been doing a great job getting out and about, finding, turning over rocks, finding these kids that are going to help us get this thing turned around. So um, I'm extremely excited to talk about them. We got a couple of players here who um, our guys did a great job on the panel. We had them up and we leave the room as coaches and the parents and the players get to talk to our players about what's going on with our program without us being in the room. So um, I got to thank those guys. They're only two represented. That, that one with that bun on top of his head, he can recruit better than any of us. So um, Dominic Sierra over there. But I want to thank those guys for, for doing what they do for us in that, in that event. Like I said, we had a, a great signing class. We got a couple of kids that are already here. Um, Brock Berglin, um, is a young man from Valley Christian that transferred um, to us from um, North Texas. Young man has a tremendous arm. He can throw the ball and he can run the ball. So looking forward to having him on our campus. Um, like I said, he's been here since the 13th and he's been working out and getting himself better. And he actually came back home because his grandfather is ill and his grandmother is ill. So he's kind of being that liaison for him because the parents have moved to Las Vegas. So he and his brother, who are both on campus, are basically taking care of the grandparents. Next man is Trevor Douglas. He's a safety. Um, he's kind of a short, stocky guy, but the kid can play ball. Um, you know, we found Trevor, um, as we were looking at it, Coach Gordon found him, and, and uh, the kid, he packs a wallop when he goes and plays. He's a, he's a safety. He's, like I said, he's a short in stature, but the kid can play back deep, and he can come up and rush the passer and all that good stuff. Colin Gibbs, local kid for us. When you see him, he's a long, lengthy guy. Um, he's going to play linebacker for us. He may grow into where he get on the edge and put his hand down. But he's, he's a great kid from down at Silver Creek um, High School. He was all-conference honor. He was uh, a two-time all-academic. And he had 112 tackles this year and three fumble recoveries for, uh, for his high school team, four straight playoff appearances. So he's going to bring some of that winning attitude we need. The thing we've tried to do is with this year, every kid I've talked to, I've asked him about his leadership skills and how, what kind of leader he is. And all these kids we're talking to, that's kind of what we're recruiting off of as well is, what kind of leader are you? What are you going to bring to this program? Not just what we can do for you, what are you going to bring for us outside of your athletic skills? Um, Chris Glover is a junior college kid out of West LA who's uh, got to come in and be ready for us right away. He was an uh, um, all pack, pack conference out there in the JC League. Um, had three picks this year. He's long, he can run, and we need his, uh, his skill set to come in and help us play some ball. This kid right here, somebody, I forget who it was, said he looks like he should be a defensive player, and he is. Um, but a little bit about the kid, he, he has four sisters and his mom. That's who he stays with, and three sisters are triplets. So um, you can imagine that. But the kid, he's, he's huge, um, all-conference. Um, defense alignment and tight end. He's all conference at both. He's going to come in to play defensive end for us. He's one of those kids that he's already 250, so he can put on 20 or 30 pounds and he's going to end up, you know, sliding into another position playing three technique for us. But uh, Brody's going to be a good, good player for us. You can let it run. I went out and saw him last week, and the family's got all UNC gear everywhere. All the sisters, the mom, everybody has it on. This kid, Nick Johnson, right here was a surprise for us. Um, Found him out of Chicago, Coach Davidson and uh, Coach Smith. The kid can play. I mean, we were, trying to, we were kind of surprised that no one at that way had, had gotten a hold to this kid already. But he came in. His mom actually came on the trip with him. Um, and I commend his mom because she's in a walker. But she came out with him, and she went everywhere we went. And she got a feel for the school. They got home and called her and told us, Coach, we're coming. And uh, this kid won a, won a state championship this year. Uh, he was all conference as a senior, and so uh, and he was a team captain. That's that leadership for us that we're looking for. And so he can get after. It. He can. He's played all. He's played inside backer, outside backer, and he's played some DB as well. This is probably one of my favorite kids that we got in this class. Um, Jacob Nip, quarterback 
um, down at Ralston Valley. Um, when you talk about leader, he is that. That is what he's going to bring. Um, he could very well be the quarterback of the future. Um, he knows there's quarterback. He knows that we have a quarterback here on campus already. He knows that we're bringing in. We brought in an older guy, and he told Coach um, Boy, he said, I don't care. I'm coming to compete right now. And so that's what you want to see from your quarterback. The kid can run. He can throw the ball. And uh, we're excited to have him. And this kid is like a... Like a 3-6 student with a 24 ACT, and so he's he's got all the intangibles to play that position that you want him to be that leader on and off the field. And this next one is probably the most important one that we brought <laughs> from up Platte Valley. The kicker, punter, kickoff guy. You can let it go. He's going to do it all for us. Um, we actually, President looked at me one day in the in our lunch over there. She said, "Did we actually put some money toward a kicker this year?" Yes, ma'am. That's him right here. <laughs> And so, um, to give you some comparison to this young man, um, as you can see, he's kicking the field goal. It's probably about 50-something yards right there. Um, but he also, we had four touchbacks kickoffs this year. He had 58 in high school. So he's going to bring that powerful leg for us. If there's one freshman in this class that could play as a skilled position, this will be the kid. It's Ronald LaRue kid right here. He is a first-team All-State defensive back out of Texas, and he played against top top level competition so he will knock your lights off I mean this kid can hit he led his team in tackles with 120 coming from the secondary and so um, we're excited about this young man he was excited about us um, he was here Friday night he got here Friday night he got up Saturday morning and we showed the highlight tape we talked a little bit he's coach I'm ready to commit he's ready to go as soon as he got here so it's exciting to see this kid get here and he's online and he's recruiting for us. He's talking to this kid, you need to come with me. And so it's pretty neat when you get him like that. Zachary Lindsay, we have athlete up there, this kid. Most of the clips you'll see is him at running back. Um, we kind of recruited him to come play DB. But as you'll see on this film, the reason why I recruited him to play DB, because he's powerful, you can't talk him, he's not afraid of contact. And so we got him to play whatever we need him to play. Down at Denver South, he comes from a family of athletes. Both his brothers or his uncles went to Oklahoma State. His grandfather went to Utah. And so um, he told me real on when I went to see him at the school, he said, Coach, I want to come play for you. So it's exciting to have this young man in our fold from home. It's hard to bring down with the ball in his hand. And like I said, he will hit you. He, didn't have any, he don't have defense clips on there, but this kid is powerful. And uh, he plays defense just like he plays offense. Michael McCauley is a kid again from Colorado at Cherokee High School. He'll come in and play tight end for us. He'll play H. Young kid. Um, actually, Dave Myers was responsible for kind of pushing him our way um, and, and talking to him about what we have to offer. And so this young man will play, like I said, tight end or H. Um, he's got great grades, and he's a tough kid. That's what you want at that position. He's tough. And, again, he's a leader of that football team. Cody Momart, big boy, 6'6", 280, uh, from over at Monarch. And he played in the offense where the kid is 6'6", but he's got to bend all the way down in his stand, so you know he's got good hips. He's powerful. He, he's going to be, he was excited. He called me, they haven't got my papers yet, coach. I'm like, well, just give it time. They'll get there. They're coming. So he's excited about it. Let it run, BC. He's excited about it. And uh, that's what you want. You want kids to be excited to come play for you. So this kid right here, actually, Coach Kerr got here for, I think he was here for five days. And Coach Kerr found this young man down in Denver. He said, Coach, I think you need to look at this kid again. Um, and uh, once I got the tape and we looked at it, because I hadn't seen him, the kid is phenomenal. He's got good quick twitch. He can move. He's going to get after the quarterback. Athlete right here, Joshua Peterson from Coach Robinson, found him down in uh, New Orleans. And again, he's an athlete. He's playing wide receiver. But he, can, he wants to play DB. So whenever you get an offensive guy that wants to come play defense, that's kind of backwards. Most of them want the ball in there, and he wanted to go get the ball back. And so um, more than happy to get this young man because he can play football. And again, you, you like those dual position guys because you always can move them around if you have to. This kid right here has probably got the longest wingspan I've seen on a high school kid. His uncle's even bigger than him, but he's probably got a 6'8", six, 6'9", six, wingspan. Um, and his hands are humongous. And so, again, he's already 220 pounds. And Again, he'll be, once they get here and they eat them three meals a day and they're in that weight room like they ought to be, um, he'll be 240, 250 within a year and a half. And uh, we're expecting some big things out of him. This kid right here from California, um, 
He's got the widest back I've seen. He's probably one of the fastest kids we have in this recruiting class, and you'll see on these highlights. But he can he can flat out run. Um, and he he wanted to be here in the worst way. Um, his dad was mad at him because he wasn't gonna let him come at first. But we kind of kept recruiting him and ended up getting him. This is the man child right here. We expect him to come play right now for us when he steps on the campus, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, he's big and he's fast and he can play ball, he's going to catch the ball, he can block, but uh, it's going to be hard to tackle him. You'll see him catch the ball here, he's just going to run this kid over and keep going. And this kid was first team all everything in that, that league out in California. This young man, Kaelin, uh, Kaelin Russell, he competed both in track and football um, out in the JC. Again, need help in that secondary. We wanted to go get some veterans that can help us um, back there and, and do some things for us. And this kid is, he knows how to go get the ball. He can run and he can tackle. He's going to make plays for us. Um, he's one of those guys you got to get a little weight on him because he plays bigger than he is. Um, he likes separating the ball carrier from the ball. And he's not afraid to play on the goal line, stick his nose in there. So he's going to come in right away and have to do some things for us. Dan Ryan had I want to say seven or eight FBS offers. Coach Smith did a great job recruiting me. He came out here summer, saw the campus, and everybody came in contact with it. He loved it, and so he called us. We were in the staff meeting one day, commit to us. And so Chris is running around, literally running around the hallway, doing laps upstairs because we got the kicks. We didn't think we were going to, and we got him. And, uh, but he's a freshman offensive lineman. There's a couple offensive linemen freshmen that may come in and be doing some backup roles for us this year because of the maturity of them, the strength of them that they have already. Kendall Ryan, down at Pomona High School, you can see he's already big enough. He's 6'3", 300 pounds. Um, we actually got help with this young man from Marty English, who's at CSU. Marty said, Ernest, there's two kids in this state you better take, because I'm trying to get CSU to take them, but we won't. It's Kendall Ryan and Jacob Nip. So if you see Marty, tell him I said thanks. <laughs> But Kendall Ryan also that big, played basketball. He you know, has good feet. He can move around the basketball court, and that's what we're looking for him to do at that guard position for us. Evan Short is probably the strongest player we have coming into this class outside of the tight end that you'll see later on. But Evan Short is already, for those of you that are familiar with the weight piece of it, Evan Short is already cleaning over 325 pounds. And that's strong. And we don't have... We only probably got about 10 or 15 guys on our team now that can do that. And so this kid, physically, strength-wise, he can come in and be ready to play for us now if he can handle it mentally. Grand Turnbull, we, hadn't, we didn't know about the kid because we weren't necessarily in Houston. And, and Doc Heine sent me an email and said, would you check this kid out for me? I don't know anything about him, just check him out. And we ended up signing the kid. He's going to be, he's playing quarterback here, which he can do that too. But he's so athletic that he's going to play H, tight end for us, or quarterback. And he has a brother. The 6'5", so we'll be looking at him too. This kid right here, um, Verna, Theron Verna, you will see fast-wise, he weighs 230 pounds, but he can absolutely run from Grand Junction, Colorado. And he's a kid that's strong enough that could come in here and possibly play for us too this year. Our, court, our current quarterback, Sean Rubicop, and he came from the same area. And uh, Sean did a great job hosting him, trying to get him to come play for us. Great family. You talk about a family that's great. I mean, he's going to qualify for some other scholarships and things like that. He said, Coach, I'm going to do whatever I can to get as many scholarships as I can so you can give some of the money to somebody else to help us get better. That's what this kid told us. And that's what you want in a program because you know he's all in. Traxter, this guy can run. Um, they're expecting him in the state of Texas this year to run a 47, 400. Dad said they're going to get him a 68, I mean a 60, 46, 8. And so he's already... Um, scheduled to be running in 47, so he can run his sisters at Oklahoma State, which he had a scholarship to go to Oklahoma State um, to run track. His sister is a 55, 400 meter. I guess that's pretty fast. Um, but uh, he wanted to play both, and Oklahoma State wasn't going to let him play both. And so I had him talk to Amanda, and those of you that know Amanda, she sold him, and so he's coming. So he'll probably be doing both for us um, when he gets here. But he can catch the ball, and it's exciting to have that kind of speed coming into that wide receiver spot. This, is, this kid right here, as far as Zach Wilkinson, he's from Canada. When you see this first play, 
You'll know this kid can run. That's why we recruit him to come play tackle for us. But he's the one out in front leading running back down the field. Um, but he can absolutely set out fly, and he's strong, and he's kind of mean, if you will. And that's where you want him to be. 